How's it going guys? Jace here. So today I'm going to show a quick tip on how to uh, record through plugins inside Studio One 3. Uh, it, I was uh, stumped on this for quite a while when I first switched to Studio One. Uh, so when I did my research you know, in like the manual, I learned to go to the mix here. And on the far left here, there's a, it says inputs. I'm going to click that once. Now I'm I'm gonna be through input one on my inbox, so it's it would be right here. You just click anywhere right here, and then there's your window where you would uh, insert your plugins. So uh, personally, I I have recorded through an EQ before and just uh, you know rolled off the low end. If uh if I need to record if I need if I can't quite get enough gain, you can uh, throw like a a mix tool on there and just and crank up the gain knob. I have my my audio interface disconnected right now, so I could uh, make this video. Apologize for the the bad quality. I'm using free software until I can get off this laptop onto my new computer. So that's that's how I record through plugins. I throw my amp simulator on there, so I don't have to put like an empire on each track I'm using. So and it saves CPU, it can save time, but you gotta remember to turn these off when you're recording certain things. You gotta remember that you have plugins on your input channel itself, because you can forget, you can forget that's there. I've recorded my drums or my kick drum sounded horrible because it was going through an amp simulator. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, subscribe. I'm gonna make some videos on on tips that I that I know will help a lot of people. So that was my tip for the day. You guys have a good one.